joining us for the January 22nd, 2019 regular meeting of the Webster County Board of Supervisors. First item on the agenda is to call this meeting to order, and please join me with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Item number three is to approve today's agenda. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item three. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The agenda is approved. Item number four is to approve the previous meeting minutes. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item four. Second. We have a motion and a second. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry. Mr. Chairman, I'm motion to move on to the floor. All second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Item number five is to approve today's drainage claims. We have none. Item number six is, is to accept and place on file the hiring and employment of Caleb Carmichael, Corrections Officer part-time, effective January 22nd, 2019, at the rate of $15.93 per hour, per the recommendation of Steve Elfritz, Jail Administrator. Mr. Chairman, I motion to move item six. I'll second. A motion and a second. Questions or comments on item number six? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item six carries. Item seven is to receive and place on file the resignation of Teresa Myers, effective January 18, 2019, per Terry Prescott, Webster County Health Director. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item seven. Second. Motion to end second. Questions or comments on item number seven? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Item number eight is to appoint Kent Eimers to the Planning and Zoning Board for a term of five years. Take a motion, we move item eight. I'll second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments on item number eight? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item eight carries. Item number nine is to receive and place on file actuary evaluation report for the Webster County other post-employment benefits, better known as the OPEB plan, from Silverstone Group. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item nine. Second. We have a motion and a second. Was Ted going to try to send something out on this? Um, this was, the whole cap is mine. Okay. Um, it is a requirement that we have to do this every two years for the GASB 77 report that we file. And so this was our, just our, it used to be a three year, now it's a two year um, report that needs to be done. It just determines post employment benefits and then we can compare it with other um, counties and then also determine the, the weight. Questions. Questions on item number nine? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. It is now the citizens' opportunity to address this board with items not on today's agenda. Board of Supervisor Committee reports. I have items tomorrow. Okay. I have mental health tomorrow in Blackhawk. All right, we have a 10:30 hearing on the proposed skylight repairs in the bank building at 723 First Avenue South, Fort Dodge. And then we'll have a bid letting on proposed hearing to follow. And then we will also be receiving and placing on file the bid letting results for the proposed skylight repairs. So I will ask for a recess until 1030. Motion for recess. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. We are recessed until 10 a.m. Welcome back to the January 22nd, 2019, 10 a.m. regular meeting of the Webster County Board of Supervisors. We are now back in session, it's 10.30 a.m. Moving on to item number 10.
to public hearing will be held on the proposed skyline repairs in the bank building at 723 First Avenue South, or Dodge, Iowa. We'll open this hearing. Do we have any written or oral comments? I have no written. Questions or comments from the floor? From the table. All right, we'll close the hearing at 1032. Item number 11 is a bid letting on proposed skylight repairs in the bank building. We're going to turn it over to Paul. We have some. Jensen Builders Limited, Port Dodge, Iowa. Uh, the bid bond is indeed intact. For the proposal. Very good. The bid form uh, shows that they have received uh, addenda number one. And the uh, lump sum proposal base bid is 153000 even. $153,000. Um, if this bid is accepted, it is, is estimated to work in, it is estimated to complete the work in 200 calendar days from notice to proceed. Uh, 200 calendar days. form um, is again from Woodruff. Uh, they have knowledge, acknowledged 5% bid bond, addendum number one, and the base bid is for $136,070. $136,070. If this bid is accepted, it is estimated to complete the work in 150 calendar days from notice to proceed. Signed and sealed. So we have two proposals. And uh, apparent law at this point is indeed uh, what are Questions? No. What we would uh, anticipate, there's no numbers to add. This is a lump sum proposal. You have two proposals. Uh, we'll review and make sure all the uh, I's are dotted and T's are crossed. And uh, if the board would then anticipate awarding this a week from today, uh, if acceptable. All right. We'll move on to item 12, which is to receive and place on file the bid letting results from the proposed skylight repairs in the bank building. We have a motion and a second. Questions or comments on the two bids that were received today? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, bidders. Last item on the agenda is to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. We are adjourned.